Hey guys, Mike the Color Kiwi here, bringing to you another review video today, this time for the Carthaginian Citizen Infantry, which I've been promising for a while. I'm finally getting around to doing it now. Um, now, I want to start off by saying thank you everyone who's joined my channel recently. It's uh, really humbling to see a lot of people actually want to see what I'm rambling on about and seeing what I'm doing. Um, and I thank everybody that sent in a uh, request to see if I can do painting for them as well. Um, I hope I've answered all of you and um, when I have time available I will. I currently have a big contract coming in very uh, shortly from America and once that's finished, which will probably be in about six months time, I will be free to try and take on more. I'd love to be able to do everything for you and if I could do this full time I would love to but just at the moment unfortunately I still have to work my normal job and I can really only get in a few hours of painting in the evening and then paint on the weekend so it's uh, really really hard to do more than one or two contracts at a time but I do appreciate all the um, people who want me to actually like try and do some work for them so keep an ear out I will let you know when I'm free again and uh, it'll, it'll sort of be on a basis of first in first served um, I have noted down those of you who really want something done and said you're happy to wait so uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can alright now on with the review so I want to also say that these models are absolutely fantastic but I'm probably not going to be using them in this Carthaginian army that I'm building um, you'll ask why um, I'll get to that a little bit later now these models are absolutely fantastic they really are nice anything that Vitrix does I haven't seen anything yet that I don't like they go together really easy they look really great together as a group which you'll see a little bit later when I've um, got the full assembled unit in front of you um, but they seem to have a problem in all of the Vitrix Carthaginians by one box set, which I will get to as well, um, seem to have the same problem and the Numidians have it as well. And all the weapons are a lot thinner than the earlier models. Um, I'm guessing they're trying to go for a slightly more realistic look now because I do know in the beginning some people thought that the weapons were a little bit oversized. Personally, from a wargaming perspective, I actually prefer that. Um, but from a modelling perspective and from a look perspective, I do appreciate the fact that they're trying to make the spears more realistic looking, not super fat, so that you're holding a upgraded spear like this fat. I mean, obviously, you know, no one's got a spear that big in their hand. It'd be impossible to try and use and keep your hand on it. But from a wargaming perspective, I do appreciate when my models aren't going to snap as soon as I touch them or accidentally knock them over. Um, now, when you look at these models as a group, they really, really do look great. They do. Um, but when you put them next to the earlier Greeks and Romans, which I will do a, a small comparison later on this video as well, uh, you're going to see there's a big difference between them. And when you've got the two armies on the table versing each other, um, it's kind of going to look like one guys have come to the game with the real weapons and then the other guys have come to the game with little toys. Uh, some people won't care. Obviously, an army is an individual army, but... Uh, I kind of like everything to look kind of the same, especially when it's from the same manufacturer. Um, but again, I do appreciate why, they, why they've done it, I think, and the models do look really nice. So, I don't know. I do have plans for these models, though. Later on, um, when I finish the Carthaginian army I'm working on now, I will use these models to be able to put in the army to use as um, the... African infantry in the Hail Caesar early Carthaginian list. So they're not going to get wasted, they're not just going to sit there and never get painted. Um, I've definitely got use for them and it is going to happen. But in the main unit, I think I'm going to make use of the other box set which Vitrix does, which is the Warriors of Carthage. Now they seem to have longer spears, they are a bit thicker, I don't think they're as thick as the actual Roman Terrarii or the, uh, the Greek. Um, hoplite spears uh, from the earlier box sets but hopefully it's close enough um, I'm waiting for the box to arrive so when it turns off I'll do a review of that one as well but um, fingers crossed they, they're going to serve my purpose a little bit plus they come with uh, one unit of the uh, chainmail arm guys and also one unit of the lintorix arm guys which are much more uh, correct I think for the Hannibal period um, than these more unarmoured ones with the different shields and that. 
anyway um, so on to the review what I will do now is I'll flip my camera over and we'll do a unbagging I won't call it an unboxing because like most of these sets now it's not coming in a box it's coming in a bag um, and we'll take a close-up look of each of the sprues and I'll sort of go over the weapons and what they have and then we can have a look at the actual um, infantry themselves all built up as a unit so you can see what they look like roughly when they're together all right so here we go all right guys so here it is we've got the uh, Carthaginian citizen infantry sorry uh, bag 24 models in the bag and uh, they really are very nice as I said before uh, now we'll get this open nice and quickly Unboxings are never that fantastic, so I'll go through this pretty quick. Alright, it is a good solid bag, um, and the sprues are nicely put in there. Once you get them out of the bag, you're probably not getting them back in very easy. That's okay. Alright, so with a lot of their kits, they normally come with the command sprue, and what we have here is the command sprue. Now, I'm going to try and get this a little bit closer here and see how it looks. Just trying to get my lighting right. Okay. Getting a little bit closer with my camera, I think, because this isn't uh, looking too good. Here we go, a bit of light. Okay, here we go. So, on the command sprue, you've got two different standard bearers, this one here and this one here. Now, they are designed that one will fit on this body and one will fit on that body, and they will not work any other way. Um, and you'll figure out which one's which pretty easy, like I did by trial and error. Um, I think that one there goes on this body and this one here, no sorry, this one's designed for that body and that one there's designed for that body. Now this guy down here, if we flip him over, where are we? There we go, so he is very similar to the rest of the warriors in the pack, um, except he's got two spaces here so that the trumpet can go in his arms. Um, you get a good selection of heads. Uh, as you can see here, they're all they're nothing too spectacular. Two of them can have little uh, fairy horse here crests in that if you want to use them. And the sprue does come with two shields as well. Um, and these are the, the round type. Smaller than the Greek shields, um, but similar sort of concept and design, I guess. Here's the sprue from the back, just so you can see it. So, nice, very standard fare for Vitrix in the way that they do their kits. Now, everything else is basically exactly the same. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more sprues in here. Each sprue has uh, three figures on it, and they're all exactly the same. So we'll put these ones off to the side, and you can have a quick look here. All right, so here we go. So we'll turn it over. Now, the three figures are very similar. You've got... This one and this one look very similar, except this one's got a slightly more bent arm, otherwise they are very similar. This one's arm is slightly further out than this one, so there is a bit of variety, uh, but be warned this is a unit that is going to look fairly similar, um, unless you uh, do a bit of bending in that, which I haven't bothered to do in this um, review kit that I'm putting together, but uh, you could probably do some really nice things with a bit of tweaking. Now this one here is designed, he has two different arms that he can use, this one here and this one here. One's more of a overarm stabbing, the other one's more of a uh, sort of side stab instead, I guess, hiding behind the shield. Um, and as you can see, you do get some different shields here. Now, you've got a choice of how you want to do them. They give you these smaller ones, which you don't have to use if you don't like them. And I don't believe there are shield transfers for these particular ones available from Little Big Men Studios at the moment. I could be wrong on that. Um, if I am, someone correct me um, in the comments below. But otherwise, what we have here is uh, three of your normal stand scrutum type shield, which are probably the ones I'll be using um, because I really like Vitrix and Little Big Men Studios um, transfers that they put on these. Um, they make things so much easier they look really great um, and they come with lots of different varieties which means you can mix and match them a bit. Um, now here you can see with the spear, just so I can get in close and you can have a bit of a better look, you can see there that it's uh, it's not that long, uh, it's probably about an inch and a half I guess. Uh, if you compare that to the Numidians with their light spears or javelins, they're only about that big. So it's, it is longer 
but you know they are a bit longer and there's two different sizes here you can see one is longer than the other as well overall they're not massive um for most people that's probably not a problem for me i just like everything to kind of look the same scale so it's slightly annoying i mean i could drill them out and put in bigger spears myself if i wanted and i've got plenty of spear ones from other kits so that's another option i could do as well but as I said, I think I'm rather just going to use these guys just as um, medium infantry for uh, African infantry instead. Um, means I can paint them up with a little bit darker skin rather than as the Libby Phoenicians and probably make them a more interesting unit to look at, to be honest. Um, I'll probably go with painting the actual, u well, I won't say uniform, the tunics. I'll do them in different browns and that, kind of similar to what I've done with the Numidians. Um, and I'll keep the shields quite bright and interesting, and that should uh, make them pop on the table. But that's basically it. Not complex sprues at all. You know, there's, like I said, there's seven of them. They're all exactly the same. I do appreciate the fact that the Vitrix has put in the different shields, um, because that does allow you to have a lot of different options as far as um, how you want them to look. You could make them look really ununiform or you can make them look quite uniform so I guess it depends on how you how you feel about it. but next what we're going to do is I'm going to put the finished unit which I've just finished building here on the table and you can have a look and sort of see what it looks like as a group all right guys so I did promise you a very quick um, comparison so first of all here we go with uh, try and get my light in the right place that's better. So these are some Roman Terrario from uh, one of the, the main sets for the Republican Romans. Um, I really love these figures and this is my favourite army. Um, now next to it we've got some Greeks that I'm working on. They're not quite finished. Ooh, not my camera. Uh, but you can see if we put them sort of right next to each other, put the spears up, they are about the same thickness. Uh, the Greek ones might actually be a fraction thicker, but not... Not enough that's noticeable. I mean, putting them there side by side like that, you can see they are pretty similar. Now, um, if we grab the Citizen Infantry from the box, you can see that, uh, yeah, they are about... They are shorter. They're not shorter by... Well, they're shorter maybe by the weapon head in total. So, oh, it helps if I get down a bit low so you can see it. So, they are definitely shorter. Um, they are definitely a lot thinner. Um, trying to manipulate these in front of the camera and get the camera in the right. So, you can see they're probably half the thickness. And I guess that's what the issue is. Because with them like that, they just... It doesn't really look like they have long spears. Or at least not when you compare them next to like these guys, for example. Uh, what's wrong, Sam? Sorry, guys. That's Sam in the background whining away. I'll play with you a little bit later, buddy. Alright, so anyway, so that's the comparison just to give you an idea. Like I said, some people won't care. Once these have shields on them, they will look very good. Um, it does also look, to a degree, almost like they are getting smaller in their figures as well. Now, these guys do have really big hats, uh, but if you actually put the two figures right next to each other... Uh, yeah, I guess their faces are about the same position. I think the Romans are standing a little straighter, whereas these are in slightly more action-y bent knee pose slightly. And the same with the Greeks. So I guess it's just, uh, maybe it's just how it looks on my camera, but they do look a fraction smaller. Once they've got shields on that and they're based up properly, I'm imagining they'll look better. But there you go, a comparison of the three sets. Alright guys, and here they are. Sorry, it's a bit shaky. I'm hand-holding this bit because my tripod's decided it doesn't want to work. So this is 24 of them all put together. Um, now I haven't put the shields on them because the way I paint my shields separate. Um, and if you're going to be using the little big man studio transfers and if you've used them before, you'll understand that. Well, I'm really shaky today. Probably had too much energy drinks. Alright, but there you go. You can see if I sort of spin around, ignore the clutter off on the other side of my desk. All right, um, they go together very well. Um, obviously, you don't have to use them in ranks of three. I've just put them together um, like this just because I had all the figures together. What I will probably do is actually just, since I'm using them as medium infantry, I'll just do them in two ranks, which is generally how they're done for Hail Caesar. And since I won't be fighting in a phalanx, that works better. Um, but there you go. Um, they are very, very nice models. The command figure especially is... 
a really nice looking mall. I think it'll paint up well. What I do like about these guys is roughly half the heads are bearded and half aren't. Um, and so you do get a bit of variety in there. So you can do some as younger guys, some as older guys. Um, and that gives you a bit of variety as well. And I think overall they're going to be a really cool unit. Alright guys, so that's it from me today. Thank you once again for viewing. Um, I will have some painted ones of these coming up in the hopefully not too distant future, just depending on how uh, my painting schedule goes. While I'm doing contracts for other people, I generally don't paint a lot for myself, but I do try to sneak in the odd figure here and there, just so that I feel like I'm achieving something for myself as well. Uh, but nothing that will actually slow down the speed of me finishing any of my commissions. Um, but if you do want to um, see my progress on just different stuff in that, apart from it being up on here on YouTube, of course, um, I do have a Facebook page. If you haven't discovered it yet already, just look up at Kiwi Color Studio, and uh, it'll come up for me, and you'll you'll see it. Um, but that's it guys, thank you, love to know what you guys think, love to know if you guys have actually put these models together and painted them and if you're using them, um, and I'd love to see pictures of what you guys are doing as well because the best part of hobbying in general is just seeing other people's stuff as well, not just your own stuff but seeing other people's stuff, being here in New Zealand there's not the biggest group of uh, ancient players in the world and uh, so obviously what we get to see is a bit limited be really nice to actually see some of what you guys are working on in that. And if you guys have your own YouTube channels or you've got Facebook pages and that, link them down below so everyone can start like getting together and looking at each other's stuff and commenting on it because that's the beauty of social media that we had today. I wish we'd had it like 30 odd years ago. It would have been fantastic, but we've got it now, so let's use it. All right, guys, all the best. Catch you later. Bye.